Have you heard of the super fun game? It's a browser-based game called Emoji Scavenger Hunt. It is so much fun. If you're a language teacher, this is an awesome game. Especially if you have um, ELL students, English language learners. So if you're an ESL teacher or um, especially English language learners, this is a wonderful game to use with your students. So let me show you how it works. Now you might be thinking, well, Rachel, I'm not in English as a second language student, um, teacher. I teach Spanish or French or German. Well, currently it's only available in English and what looks like Mandarin. Uh, however, you can use this with your students also. So let me show you. Now the best way to play this is with your, on your devices, with um, your phones. Um, so just putting that, but I'm gonna illustrate how to use it on your computer. How you can use it also with your um, language students, regardless of whatever language you happen to teach. All right, so first thing you do is you go to Google and type in Emoji Scavenger Hunt. All right, there it is. It's a browser-based game, all right? Super fun, and it is an AI experiment. Um, it is by Google. So let's go ahead and let's play. So there's gonna be a countdown, and then an item's gonna pop up. You have to give permission it? to your camera. Now, I Did do I have a fun. A if I was on my phone, I could a take a picture and it, it automatically wig? takes a picture of it and of the, of the computer wig? mouse. All right, but let me I see. see a wig. Hey, you found mouse. All right, did you guys see? I found the mouse. So this is so fun. So you could do this as a, um, you know, ELL um, teacher or ESL, you could do this. So it's because you're saying, do I see a mouse? Do I see, it's saying all these things. So it's a great way to, um, you know, have some input and they're look, going around looking for it. So again, it, it's a great way to provide input, but you, let's say you are a French teacher or a Spanish teacher, you can say, un raton, busquen un raton. As the computer is saying in English, you can say, un raton, busquen un raton, and they can come up and bring it. So if you don't have a lot of devices and then you don't want to, um, have them use their phones. They can come up and have it in the camera, the computer camera, and whoever um, does it first, they can be the one who wins, all right? Uh, whatever price you wanna give them. So that's one option to do it. So if you're like, oh, it's only in English, no worries. You can get creative and have so much fun. I have used it with my students and we love it, okay? So, um, and then once you, then you just go next emoji and it's gonna count down again. All right, and it says find a phone, a find a phone. Do I see a wig? No, that's not a wig. <laughs> I think I saw a bath towel. Let's see. I think I saw a It's not board. picking up my phone. Did I see a bathtub? Did I just see a mortarboard? All right, it picked it up. Woohoo! All right, well, anyway, it's so much fun. Now, on the, um, we're gonna quit this so I can show you on the phone. Oh, it's still doing it. We're gonna quit it. All right, we're gonna hit quit. Boa? And I'm gonna show you on the phone, okay? So notice on my phone, all right, I have it right here. I'm trying to make sure the camera gets it, okay? So you're gonna do it, um, and all, you're gonna do the same thing on the phone. Now, if you're on an iPhone, it, you have to use the Safari browser, okay? Um, and then you just do the same thing, and make sure you allow the camera. It's gonna do the countdown again. And so I have to find a TV and it, it hey, you found a TV and notice that. So again, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, but it's only in English. So if you're an English, um, an ESL teacher or an uh, English language learner, uh, both are the same anyways, this is perfect. They're getting that input. All right. So it's great. And um, so, and they can be practicing saying the word also as they are looking for it. Now, again, if you're a Spanish teacher, a German teacher, you can say el televisor or la tele or whatever you um, say, um, le televisor, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying to speak French in case you didn't um, notice. Anyway, so that's just another way that you can, and let me tell you, we have had so much fun and we're like running around the room um, trying to find these items and trying to beat each other, trying to beat the timer because it has the timer. I don't know if you can see it. Oh no, it went to a different website. Okay, anyway. 
Anyway, it is super fun. Go check it out. Um, go try it with your students and then let me know how you and your students like it. Let me know inside of the Tech for World Language Teachers Facebook group. We have an awesome community. It's totally free. Um, we have over 16,000 world language teachers there um, that we know the struggles of teaching a foreign language to students every, every year. It just seems like it gets more challenging, right? But don't worry, you have a community there that you can go get ideas, get support, ask questions. I'm in there every day. And if I don't see your question, one of our awesome teachers um, will see it. So anyway, go check it out. Go try it. Remember, go to Emoji Scavenger Hunt on Google. It's free. Go check it out and then make sure if you are on your iPhone, use the Safari browser. And let me know inside the Tech, the tech for Wall English Teachers Facebook group how you like it. Bye. Enjoy.